First of all, we join our prayers to those of many others for the recovery of the President and First Lady and for all those who are affected by COVID-19. One of my favorite Sukkot texts describes what happens when rabbis travel together, in this case by ship. Rabban Gamliel and Rabbi Akiva, for unknown reasons, were on a boat together when Sukkot was starting. Rabban Gamliel said it was not necessary to build a sukkah because a sukkah should not be a permanent structure and an impermanent structure would certainly blow away in the wind on the ship's deck. Rabbi Akiva said it was necessary, ostensibly because while a sukkah should be impermanent, it was not certain whether or not it would blow away in such a breeze. The Talmud tells us what happens next. Rabbi Akiva arose and established a sukkah on the deck of the ship. The next day the wind blew and sent it overboard. Rabban Gamliel said to him, Akiva, where is your sukkah now? Who is right? Technically Rabban Gamliel. If you know the sukkah is going to blow down, you do not have to put it up. It may even turn out to be a waste of time and resources. But Rabbi Akiva mess, uh, resonates with us, especially today, because who knows? Maybe it won't blow down. Maybe if we put in our best efforts, we will have a chance to do something important, even though it also might not work out. We have to try wherever we can to perpetuate the Jewish traditions that have defined us and marked our sacred moments and seasons. So why else does Rabbi Akiva resonate? No one knew if the High Holy Days would even be possible on a communal level this year. No one knew if they would be meaningful, including us. But even though the winds of uncertainty blew very hard, we worked together to build the best experience we could. And you and Jews by the thousands across the world chose to put up that sukkah in the wind. And you know what? It didn't blow away. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping to create what turned out to be an exceptional and memorable High Holy Day period that will not soon be forgotten. As we said over and over again and wound up believing, we were at a distance, but we were also truly together. Chag Sameach and Shabbat Shalom.